Hi there, my name is Brian and I'm on the Horizon marketing team and today I wanted to walk you through the process of both creating and minting a single image NFT on Token Mint by Horizon. So Token Mint is our quick and easy token launch for anyone platform that's both fungible and non-fungible tokens. No developer skills needed, custom tokenomics that you can set yourself, and the whole process is fully transparent. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the process. And first, we're going to take our image. In my case, it's going to be a picture of some grapes. And the first step on Mac, it's a two-step process, is you're going to go ahead and remove the .jpg at the end or .png, however your image file is oriented. Then we're also going to click on Get Info, and we're going to go ahead and remove the .jpg from there. We'll see when we do that, that it will create a document file type instead of an image file type, which is exactly what we're looking for here. Then we're going to navigate over to Pinata, and if you don't have a Pinata account, you'll need to go ahead and create one for this process. And we're going to go and upload our image file of the grape. All right, name it accordingly. One thing to note here is that we will be including a link to all the various guides and websites that you'll need for this process in the description of the video. Now we're going to go ahead and navigate over to GitHub to this sample NFT metadata file that we have provided to you. Please note here that this is the single image NFT metadata. There's a difference between single image and collection. So we're going to go in and we're going to copy that metadata file. And you can go ahead and open it in your preferred text editor or code editor. I like using Visual Studio Code, but you're open to use any platform that you'd like. And we're going to create a new text file with the language being JSON. We're going to uh, paste that sample metadata file. We're going to hop back over to Pinata where we're going to copy this unique CID for our image. And we're going to go ahead and drop it right in between the end of the quotation marks and after the second slash here. Secondly, we're going to have to go ahead and name our image accordingly. So we will update that from, uh, to grape since that is the name of our image. That's all we really need to do to this metadata file. Then we're going to go in and we're going to save the file. We'll do grape meta. And now we're going to go ahead and open the file. Same process that we did with the image file for the metadata file. We're going to need to create its own folder. So we're going to do grape metadata. We're going to need to take the JSON file. We're going to remove the dot JSON at the end, as well as go into our get info and remove the dot JSON there as well. We're also going to go in and we are going to rename this file as just one. And we're going to go ahead and drop that into our grape metadata folder because on Pinata, it needs to reference which file in the folder contains that metadata content. Now we're going to go back over to Pinata and we're going to upload that folder, the metadata folder, grape metadata. Upload that here onto Pinata. We'll name it grape metadata folder. We'll upload that to Pinata. And once that's uploaded, you're going to go ahead and copy that unique CID again. And now we're ready to hop on over to Token Mint. So now that we're here on Token Mint, we're going to click on Launch App. We are going to make sure your Cobalt Wallet is connected. If it's not connected, you can do so by clicking right here in the top right corner. We're going to tab over to NFTs and click on Create Collection. So our collection name will be Grapes with the symbol as Grape. The base URI as it's displayed here will be IPFS dot dot slash slash. We paste that unique CID we copied from Pinata and we close it with another slash. Item supply, since this is a single image NFT, this is just a supply of one, a one of one. We will agree to the terms and conditions, click on confirm. And now we just need to sign the transaction here in Cobalt. Once that is signed, the NFT creation process takes anywhere from two to three minutes. You can monitor that in our block explorer. So we'll go ahead and we will see that the transaction here is pending. 
Now that our NFT has been confirmed as created, we need to go ahead and mint our NFT. So if we pop back over to the uh, creation section, we can mint it to our Cobalt Token Mint testnet address. So we'll go ahead and grab that, copy and paste it into the mint to address. Again, we need to sign the transaction. Once the transaction has been signed, your NFT is being minted and we need to wait for a unique UID to be created. And that means that our NFT will be minted to our Cobalt wallet. Once the um, collection UUID has been created, the NFT has been successfully minted to our Cobalt wallet. Here we can see it on the Explorer. So if we pop into our Cobalt wallet, navigate over to NFTs, we can see that the image is now populating in our Cobalt wallet. We can go ahead and send the image. We can view it on the Explorer. We can view the IPFS link, and we can also see any of the related attributes to the NFT itself. And that was how to both create and mint a single image NFT here on our token mint platform by Horizon. Thank you so much.